have you ever been flicking from stream to stream and thought, why can't I make my stream look as good as this one? But I'm here to tell you three things. You can, you should, and this is how to do it. My name's Toby, and if you want to ask me anything, whether it's about streaming or if you just want to come and chat, hit me up on Twitch. I stream most days. You can find my schedule in the Discord. The link to both are down below. With each video like this that I do, I'm going to focus on just one streamer. Today, I'm going to be focusing on my personal favorite, Aracella. So this guy's got one of the cleanest streams I've ever seen, and I've been a fan of his for a very long time now. So the one scene that I'm going to be focusing on for this video is Harris's just chatting scene. It is phenomenal. This is it, and this is what we made. So the biggest problem I had while trying to replicate Harris's just chatting scene was by far the background. I have no idea where Harris got the original animation for his background, but with a little bit of electronic magic, I can show you how to get pretty close, or I can show you how to do something completely different to match your stream theme. So with that mentioned, let's start there. There's an amazing website that you can use called Vidizi, where you can get stock footage for absolutely free. Use any of the footage that catches your eye. I'm gonna be using this one, but don't worry, we can manipulate the colors in OBS to match the aesthetic that we're actually after. Once it's all downloaded, put it somewhere safe that you wanna keep it forever and then add it as a source within OBS. If you did want to change the colors to match your theme, you can right click on the source within OBS, go into filters, add a color correction filter, and just mess around with the settings until you find something that you're happy with. These are the settings that I settled on doing exactly that, and I feel like it matches our goal quite nicely. Next up, we'll look at the camera. Don't worry if you don't have a fancy pants DSLR like Harris does, this is his full time job and he has all of the toys that goes with this career. I know that you can make this work with any webcam you find, even if you go off and buy one second hand like I did when I first started, you can make this scene work. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with well, <laughs> my fancy pants DSLR and I'll also show you how it looks with a C922 Pro from Logitech. So the border is nice and easy. We're going to add a color source within OBS. In this instance, it's going to be white. And we're going to crop it down to roughly where we want to be. Now we just need to add the webcam, add it to its own group and crop it. The next thing for us to take a look at is the monitor capture in the bottom right hand corner. This again is the same process as the camera. So we're just going to add a color source, shrink it down, keep the aspect ratio exactly the same, add a monitor capture source within the scene and then just move it into the right place. Make sure you get that nice even border all the way around and just make a group that consists of two, your golden. So the next three things all require browser sources. You've got the alerts, you've got the metrics in the middle, and you've also got the now playing widget. The first two items require stream elements or whatever other alert platform you choose to use. But go and use stream elements because why wouldn't you? <laughs> you can download the Pokemon alerts for free by going over to the Alpha Gaming Discord channel. Again, link in the description. The bits alerts are slightly different. They are freely available, so you can just Google Twitch bits alerts and you know, track them all down. But to save you some effort, I've gone and done that. They're available on my Discord. Go and take them. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of making the alerts, but there will be a video on that at some point, but it's just not very high on my priority list. It's a relatively simple task, but it does deserve its own video, so I'm not gonna go into it here. Once you've got a separate overlay made for the bits alerts and the Pokemon alerts, add them into OBS as browser sources and you're golden for your alerts. You're all done. Next up are the metrics. Now, unless you're a big streamer, I wouldn't recommend using the same metrics as Harris has done. Personally, I've used the latest follower, the latest sub and the latest cheerer. But use whatever you want to use. Just make sure it looks good. Last up, we've got the now playing widget. Now this one's a bit tricky to explain, but just go to the Pixel Chat website, link in the description below, and follow the instructions on the website. Once you have the widget made, once again, just add it in as a browser source and position it nicely, and you're good to go. Now that the scene's all made up, this is how it looks with the DSLR. And this is how it looks with the C922. The bar along the top is a super handy place to keep track of a great deal of things. Personally, I have a bits goal, uh, but it ticks up as the bit, as the cheers come in. But you could use it for anything. A sub goal, uh, a hype train, you could do literally anything up there. 
Now, I don't like doing these next bits, but uh, if you'd like to support myself, um, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed, hit the like button, leave a comment, you know, you, all, all the usual stuff. If you'd like to support Harris as well, start using stream beats in your streams. It's copyright free music, but you can use it in your content and you've been listening to it throughout this entire video. Anyway, if you liked the video and you'd like to see more like this, come let me know on Twitch. I stream most days, just basically not Mondays and Wednesdays. Why not come and let me know whose stream you want me to recreate next? Anyway, guys, as always, have a good day, have a good night, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.